Hi everyone, in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can add your book to the Goodreads database. Now, when I was trying to find out how to do this, I was struggling because every single video was really old, you know, seven years old, three years old. Even the ones which were one year old were also outdated. So I couldn't find anything that worked. So what I had to do is I went to Goodreads itself and looked at how they say you're meant to add, um, add a book to their database. So let's have a look at it together. So on Goodreads, what you want to do is you want to go to this um, this page on the Goodreads website, and it will be linked in the description below. Um, it's simple. How do I add a book to the Goodreads database? And this is updated as of August 22nd, 2022. This is the latest um, way to do it. Previously, you had to click on a button which said manually add books. That is no longer present, so you have to do it in this way. So going through this, what it says is, firstly, what you want to do is you want to search the database if they already have your book in or not. And you do that via an ISBN. So I want to add my book, which is how to grow your new coaching business, learn the fundamentals, eliminate business, beginner mistakes and hit the ground running. So you can either find your ISBN on your physical copy. If you have a uh, Kindle copy or whatever, just find your ISBN from wherever you want to find it. So I can look in my book and keep in mind, it is generally the 13 uh, number ISBN, not the 10, but you can test out both. So I have this over here uh, pulled up on Amazon. We're going to copy that and just search for it and nothing comes up. Maybe it's without the hyphen, nothing there as well. And let's just try that 10 ISBN 10 as well, just, just to be safe. Nothing there as well. Cool. So my book is not in the database. You can also search via the book title. Um, but I've already searched for it. I know it's not in the database. So make sure you just, you know, double check. No results. So I want to add a book. I want to add my book. So what it says is instead of being able to do it previously ourselves and manually add a book, we now need to request a book to be added via the Goodread librarians. So they have two links here, the Goodread, Goodread librarians group, it's basically a forum where you, where you make a thread and you request it and an instruction on how to actually request it when you're making the new thread. Before we go there, just keep in mind that they say that it will generally take one or two days to respond to your request. But if there is a higher influx of requests, it could take a little bit longer, but it shouldn't realistically take longer than a week. OK, so I have these two open up in a separate tab over here. So this is the forum, the librarians group, and this is the instructions. Firstly, with the forum, we will just join the group. So there'll be a button over here, join group, click on that. After you join group, um, you want to, this is your notifications basically, just click on whatever you want, none or notifications only, and then join group. Cool. That is that. So it says at the top, you have successfully joined this group. You can manage your group settings from there, blah, blah, blah. Now we don't need to worry about this. So we don't need to make a post. Let's just go back because we will make a post, but firstly, we will look at the instructions. So in the group now, you can tell because it doesn't say join group anymore. Now in instructions. So it says here, you want to create a new thread in this specific folder. We'll open that folder in a second after we've just read the instructions. So open and um, create a new thread in this folder um, with the title of the requested book as a subject. Back and forth posts can be confusing when many requests are in a single thread. That is why it says create a new thread because they don't want to, you don't want to keep on adding to the same thread. When a new request is added to an existing thread, it is less likely to be seen or responded to. So again, just make a new thread in that folder that told you what to do. So if your book is in any other language apart from English, please also specify its language and link to uh, link to book page, which includes the cover or on a non-bookseller site, such as a publisher site, an author site, etc. If linking to a site such as Imgur, Dropbox, etc., please state the original source of the image. No BNN or other bookseller links can be used for sources for covers or other book data, with the exception of Amazon and its subsidiaries. Pretty, pretty simple now. So let's just make a new thread and provide the information they are asking for. So let's open this in a new tab. Cool. So basically, we're back at the same place, which uh, we were just at a moment ago, and uh, we will go through this. So I'll speed through this with my book.
Okay, so I have gone through and I filled up everything. So the topic is how to, uh, you know, my book name. That's what you want to put there for your topic. And again, it says out here. So um, with the title of the requested book as the subject. So make sure you put your title in. I chosen not to add the subtitle of my book. So the subtitle is down here. On Amazon, the subtitle is part of the title for paperbacks, I believe. Um, but not for Kindles, I think something like that either way and um, for here i've just chosen to put the title in it's up to you what you want to do um, i'm not quite sure the best practice is on that i just made it easy for the librarians to understand it and go through everything so i've just put the title and the next name line break everything else so you can see it's nice it's easy for them to understand you don't want to make it hard for them to understand um the easier the better after you've done that you put your um you know your author name here If it lets me, it says there you can um, you can add something. So I just put my name there. So I'm not sure if you're doing anything, but then you just post it. Simple as that. Or you can click on preview. So let's click on preview just to see what it looks like. There you go. And if you're happy with that, then you can go and post it. Um, add to your news feed and notify me when people reply. Yes. Please complete the capture to. Okay, so fine. Right, so no bicycles in that one. And just do this and cool, there we go. So now I've made a new thread in this folder. It should be It, we should now wait a couple of days to uh, for the librarians to get back to us. If it, it might be uh, you know a little bit longer than two days, especially if it's coming up to the weekend. So it's Thursday for me today. I can probably expect a reply by maybe Tuesday, realistically, if it's going to take some time. Maybe Wednesday at the latest. There's no real rush for me. But there you go. So here we have my book in this thread, adding new books and additions. And we just wait. So there you go. I hope you guys have taken something away from this and you've learned how to add your book to Goodreads now. And uh, yeah, this should be updated. Remember, there is no manual add book button anymore. This is the way to do it. This, the links for everything will be in the description below. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching and see you guys in the next video.